Yo, 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 what's up, people? This is literally an improv video. I did no actual planning for it, actually, in terms of writing anything out. All I did was I looked at some of my Instagram posts and I was like, oh, I need to release a YouTube video for, you know, like on some motivational stuff. And basically, yeah, this is it. This is just off the head freestyle. So, you know, like this is on some freestyle stuff now. Like I'm a rapper. I'm I'm freestyling. So, without further ado, let's get into it. <laughs> basically i'm gonna just say this point while i'm like making my coffee because i got stuff to do but basically with me if you look at something like talent talent is something that's very hard to gauge because it's like how do you actually put a measurement on what talent is because some people will say that oh messi is the most talented footballer like in the world but then you look at someone like like ronaldo and you'll be like now, but he's not as talented, but he worked harder. So it's like, it's kind of like, what do you actually gauge as talent? How do you measure it? And when I was younger, I was always, or I was told that I'm not talented. But then, it, like, I questioned it and I'm like, what is talent then? Because I'm not saying like I'm the best ever, but like, or at that moment, but like, what is talent? Because... For me, I would see some guys that I thought, yo, so good. And then some people would say like, no, but they're not talented. And I'm like, then what the f is talent? What is it then? So for me, I did some research and I actually put an Instagram post about it. And I'm just going in more in depth now is that for me, talent, my personal opinion about talent is that it's based on circumstance as in height, weight, your body composition, the age at which you started something and the circumstances of your surroundings. For me, it's little circumstances that basically have an impact on what is perceived as talent. Because, for example, if you grew up playing on, on the streets, you're going to have better ball control than someone else who didn't grow up playing in the streets. Because usually when you play on the streets, you're just all out dribbling so your, the ball is going to stick to your foot better. In other words, Brazilian players. They are great at it because from a young age, they play on the streets, they do futsal. So they're naturally more skillful. Now, take a Brazilian player and put him in an environment like in England, for example. And naturally, his game will shift. As in, he will not do skills as much as he did before and over time he'll become more of a simpler player because in England it's not necessarily based on doing skills it's more on the you know like the basics passing moving controlling so if you look at it like that to me a lot of instances make up talent but it's not one thing that is just there like if you have it you guarantee to be successful the common denominator of everything in life whether you have talent or not is hard work how hard do you work at what you do how do you perfect the details of your training of your studying of your planning of all of that type of stuff and for me that is what i think counts in life not necessarily talent because you know if you take for, for example i'll give it in a clever quote that if you take a fish out of water what's gonna happen it's gonna drown now if it's swimming in in the ocean you're gonna think this fish is so talented it moves so quick grab it and take it out the water throw it on a beach and it's dead kind it's kind of a dark quote but like it's the truth that sometimes circumstance is what makes someone look better than what they are not necessarily talent so for the young kids who think that oh i have to be talented to be this or to be that you don't you need to work harder because naturally if you play the game from a young age you will have that level 
of skill and talent. And if you work harder at it, you'll see yourself rising up. Okay, so let me give you a little story about like personally about my journey so far and, and all of that. So basically with me, I started out playing team football when I was like 15. Like other than that, I just played street football. I played with my friends. I played and I trained on my own and I did all of that type of stuff. And when I look at myself now and I compare myself, I know like comparison is wrong, but when I compare myself to people who started earlier than me, I'm actually either on or above their level simply for the fact of that I worked harder behind the scenes. I used what little talent I had and basically built myself into a better footballer on my own because with me I worked on skills that I saw that I could be better at. I worked on it while others were doing other dumb sh**. I was there working on my skills. I was there improving and now I can say that the people I was playing football with when I was 15, I can confidently say that I, I can either match their level or even go higher than their level. So it's all about how much work you put in. I mean, so many of us see Ronaldo and we think like, oh, this guy is so great and all of this here, but he put a shitload of work to get to the level he's at now and still puts in a massive amount to stay at that level. And that is basically the be all and end all of life is that if you want something ultimately you're gonna have to work hard for it whether you've got a knack for 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 something more than the other guy or girl you're still gonna have to put in that work and that work and that work because you want to be the best and you want to be good at what you do so even if you've got talent you still need to put in that hard ass work you know, there's so many instances of successful people who don't necessarily credit themselves according to their talent level. One of them is Conor McGregor, who currently is retired or he's not retired, but basically, I mean, right, I mean, his last fight earned him a hundred million dollars, a hundred mil, like in. <laughs> hundred million dollars straight up and he says that he doesn't have talent he believes everyone was born equal everyone has the same opportunities it's basically how hard you work at your craft to make yourself into what you want to be and with me i agree with that because i feel like if you blind it's gonna sound dark as hell again, but if you lined me and Conor McGregor, like you put us like against the wall, and <clears throat> you, you know, either you know, like cuts us on the arm, we both bleed red, we both will bleed. So at the end of the day, how are we not equal? Yes, he's got a hundred million dollars, he's got a, you know, a expensive lifestyle, and he's rich and all of that. But at the end of the day, me and him. Are equals because there's nothing really that different about us we both human beings and we both have flaws we both have stuff that we are good at but the main thing is that if someone else has something that you want and you look at them and you like you know how are they that different from me they're not really that much different I mean compare yourself if you a footballer to someone like Cristiano Ronaldo if you look at it, when he was 15 or something, he almost didn't make Sporting Lisbon's Youth Academy because his friend was actually the more talented one. Look where Ronaldo is now. His friend is not necessarily a professional footballer. He might be successful in other parts of his life. But according to football, he's not as successful as Ronaldo. And he was regarded as more talented. So what does that tell you? That in this day and age, talent doesn't really necessarily slap as much as it used to as in even with music i mean there's a lot of no offense to them but soundcloud rappers they're not as talented as someone like drake kendrick lamar but they've made a successful life in music for themselves 
because all they did was they worked harder than everyone else. Ultimately, that is what success or failure depends on, is how hard you work. I mean, take Ronaldo, because he seems to be the main the main one when we talk about working hard and talent and all of that. And like, if you stripped him of everything and his work ethic, so all of his titles, all of his success, and you stripped his work ethic too, and he had the same talent level he has now, would he be where he is? No. Because Ronaldo's whole career is based on hard work. It's based on working harder than everyone else. And ultimately, that's what got him to be successful. And it's what will get anyone else who wants to be a success successful is if you work harder than everyone else. Of course, you can always say ultimately sacrifice, all that, blah, 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 all of that. But ultimately, it comes down to the will to want to work harder than everyone else. So if you feel that you're not as talented as, let's say, your friend or your brother or your cousin or your teammates, Work harder, work on yourself, focus on yourself because ultimately that's what makes you better is if you focus on yourself. He was focusing on someone else and be like, oh, this person has more than me. He's not going to get you anywhere. But focusing on yourself, training yourself, looking at your weaknesses, your strengths and building a program for life based on that will make you better. And ultimately that's what you want and that's what you need. And... Yeah, there'll be a few quotes at the end after I'm done speaking that will basically summarize the word and give you some insight or some more insight. But basically, that's it for me. This is just an improv video. I just decided to try something new, do it off the cuff, no writing, no whatever. So I, I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it helps you. And if you have any questions or anything, make sure you comment below and make sure you give this video a thumbs up because, you know, it's improv and I actually worked hard at it and it's cool advice too I mean come on you gotta give me credit for that so hit a thumbs up and if you like what I put out make sure you subscribe and I'll see you guys next time Okay.